Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Effingela and Oscar Pano. This absolutely amazing chess game was played in Gothenburg in 1955. Gela had white pieces and he started with e4. Pano played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, the Neidorf variation. Bishop to g5, e6, f4. Bishop to e7, queen to f3, asking a question, bishop to h4, g5, f takes on g5, knight from f to d7, white to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Of course, pawn takes pawn on h6 would be a bad idea. Then bishop takes on h4 check and black wins. Back to our game. In this position, Effingella played knight takes pawn on e6. Kaboom! Three players had this move in their opening repertoire. Spassky, Keres and Gela. All of them used this move in the same Gettenberg interzonal tournament. Black, of course, is advised to take that knight. F takes on e6. Queen to h5 check. King to f8. White to move. What is the follow-up? Gela played bishop to b5, black to move. Knight to e5 was played. Let's take it back. What happens if black plays the obvious? If a takes on b5, then the castling, and after bishop to f6, e5, and white wins. Back to our game. Knight to e5 was played. Three years later, Bobby Fischer, with the black pieces in this position, played rook to h7 against Svetozar Grigoric and managed to draw back to our game. After bishop to b5, Pano played knight to e5, bishop to g3, bishop takes on g5. Let's take it back. If a takes on b5, then castling check, and after king to g8, bishop takes knight, which is the defender of the f7 and g6 square, and after d takes on e5, queen to f7 check mate. In this position, rook to h7 would offer still the best resistance. Back to our game. Bishop takes on g5 was played. With this move, black is also making e7 square available for the black king. Gela castled kingside, check. King to e7, bishop takes on e5. Queen to b6, check. King to h1, d takes on e5. If a takes on b5, then bishop takes rook. So we have d takes on e5, queen to f7, check. King to d6, Rook from a to d1, as you can see, white is using all his pieces. Queen to d4, a desperate move. Rook takes on d4, e takes on d4. e5, check, king to c5. If king takes on e5, then queen to c7, checkmate. So we have king to c5, queen to c7, check, knight to c6. White played the move and black resigned and the move is bishop takes knight. Pano resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes bishop. Queen to a5 check. King to c4. b3 check. Mate. Wow. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.